Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for joining me. I definitely appreciate it. Now today I've got a new Aviate watch for you. You know, they come out with these things probably, I don't know, every three or four months. They all look pretty similar to tell you the truth, but I like them so far as a fashion watch goes. I actually like Aviate watches. Uh, they have some really good looking designs and this is another one, man. This is the Hawker Typhoon RB396 Sheila Chronograph Limited Edition. That was a mouthful. And this is model number AV-4093-01. And again, another good looking offering from AV8 watches. Uh, these are really fashion watches. They don't have any dive watches or anything like that. But uh, I think they're good looking watches. I think they're well built and they're reasonably priced. Let's check this thing out. All right, guys, we'll get into this thing, but first check out my Amazon shopping channel if you'd like any of the other watches I've reviewed on my channel. As y'all know, I get a very, very small commission if you buy from my Amazon store, so I definitely appreciate it. So this is some, uh, I guess, uh, limited edition packaging from Aviate. Um, they all kind of have the same box, but this is supposed to help with the preservation effort of this Hawker Typhoon. Uh, this number right here, this is the last known existing example of this particular World War II fighter plane. Uh, so they're trying to preserve it. Aviate has um, partnered up with the Hawker Typhoon Preservation Group right there. There's a little special added bonus, and I'll tell you about that here in just a minute. Uh, it's kind of cool. I'm not into aviation. I think it's cool, but I'm not, you know, I'm not into it like some folks. Uh, but of course, you know, Aviate has a whole bunch of aviation watches. Obviously, their name Aviate Aviation. There you go. Um, but they're good looking watches and they're they're not expensive. Uh, I love, love, love Aviate's dials. I think they are just some of the coolest dials, you know, on the market, whether it's a, a Swiss made watch or Japanese or inexpensive or very expensive. I think they have some of the coolest looking dials uh, of any watch company. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. Tell you what you get. All right. And again, this is like covered in like canvas. It's really hard. It's a very sturdy box. I'm sure the inside is some sort of super hard pressed cardboard. Uh, but the outside is incredibly sturdy and strong. And I think this little foam insert comes out too. Yeah, it does. There you go. Not that y'all care. But anyway, I just wanted to show you everything here. All right. I like these boxes. I mean, these boxes, man, they're really, really sturdy. Of course, on the end right there, there's some more of the Hawker Typhoon, Aviate Hawker Typhoon Preservation Group, yada, yada, yada. All right, so here's your first look at the watch. I think there are four different colors of this thing, uh, and each one is named after a pilot that flew uh, one of these Hawker Typhoons. This is called the Leska. I think there's a Johnson and a couple other models. Uh, like There's like a green um, VPD version, vapor deposition watch. You know, it's kind of like an IP coating. Good looking watch, man. I love these dials because they are so three-dimensional. Incredibly three-dimensional. I absolutely love these things. Really, really cool. All right, let's go ahead and take it off its little pillow. Let me show you all the other stuff that you get. Just a whole bunch of paperwork that y'all are probably not really going to care about. But I want to show you everything. Um, these are limited to 800 pieces uh, for each model. Uh, of course, this is just a review unit. Uh, so it really doesn't, it doesn't count in that 800. Uh, and also this right here shows you, basically it gives you more information about the Hawker Typhoon. Uh, this is like your little like uh, certificate of authenticity type of thing. There you go. Pretty cool, man. All right, here's your actual manual. Nobody's ever gonna read this, nobody needs to. These watches are incredibly simple to operate. And this right here is kind of cool. You get a little lapel pin. Uh, if you send off for this, if you register your watch, uh, they're going to send you like a little lapel pin and some other stuff. Uh, looks like it's the Hawker Typhoon Preservation Group bronze package valued at 25 bucks. You don't have to pay for it. You've already paid for the watch. So once you obviously get your watch, uh, you send off for this little thing and they give you a little lapel pin and some other stuff to do with the preservation effort of the, um, of the plane. So, you know, again, you get a lapel pin, behind the scenes access to the RB396. Uh, you can talk to her teams and crews, uh, you know, access to supporter only events, just some little perks because you bought this watch. 
uh, they give you. And, of course, they send you that little lapel pin. There you go, man. Pretty cool. All right. Again, if I was into planes, I'd be like, oh, this is really neat. But, guys, I couldn't possibly care less. <laughs> I just don't, uh, you know. I mean, I'd love to go on, like, a really long-haul flight from, like, New York to Singapore or, like, one of the most expensive, you know, like, like what is it? What is that, the most expensive airline? Um, oh, what's the name of the... Uh, I can't remember the name of that that airline, that Middle Eastern airline. Um, you know, like Emirates or I think it's Etihad. Uh, actually, I think Paris, uh, France has one. Uh, I think it's called um, Paris Premier or something like that. I can't remember. Anyway, I'd love to take one of those flights. I think that'd be really, really cool. You know, where they give you little slippers. And you get to drink all the nice champagne. You can actually take a shower on the plane. I think that'd be really, really cool. All right, so there's all that boring stuff here. Let's talk about the watch. And y'all know I'm not really a dress watch guy, um, but you know what? I'm starting to review a few more of them only because I've reviewed so many dive watches. I'm trying to, you know, you know, broaden my horizons just a little bit. Uh, and if I see a, a dress watch that I like, I'll go ahead and review it. So... Anyway, this is one of those, and I want to thank Aviate for sending me this review unit. I definitely appreciate it. So let's go ahead and talk about the specs. You're going to have a 42 millimeter stainless steel case. It's 13 and a half millimeters thick. It's 48 millimeters lug to lug. It's on a 22 millimeter leather strap. It's only water resistant to 50 meters, which is 165 feet. Uh, it's got a, a Seiko VD56 movement inside with about a three year battery life. That's a chronograph movement. I think it's from Seiko Instruments actually. Uh, of course, you get a mineral crystal with an AR coating, no sapphire, unfortunately, but you can probably see that AR coating. There you go. See a little bit of blue right there. Um, and you know, the rest of the stuff, just check the description field. Uh, and I'll tell you all about it. You know, like it's got pushers and it weighs 80 grams. Anyway, check all that stuff down there in the description field. So again, really good looking watch. Look at that dial. Fantastic. You know, basically got that Flieger look to it. Really, really cool. Got all those Arabic numerals. You've got all the subdials. Again, all of that depth. I mean, it's just a, it's a great looking watch, man. Really, really cool. And everything lines up surprisingly, which was kind of shocking. The uh, second hand's hitting all the marks right on the point there. And let me magnify this dial for you just a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. I mean, Aviate really is the master of these three dimensional dials. They do a fantastic job. It just gives a you know it gives the watch a lot of character. I think I think this thing is really cool. You got those aviation style instruments right there at uh, twelve o'clock and six o'clock. You can see like the little uh, stainless steel rivets supposed to mimic the inside of the uh, the cockpit of the of the plane. So this plane's got a lot of different names going on. It's the you know it's the Hawker uh, Typhoon RB three nine six, which is the you know the number of the plane. Sheila is actually on the front nose of the plane. The pilot uh, painted that on there. That's also on the case back, and I'll show you. Uh, you know, it's a chronograph. Obviously, it's limited edition, so there's a lot going on with the name here. So, uh, anyway, so there you go. There is the dial. Good looking dial. Let me go ahead and show you the case back. Nice leather strap. There's a the case back. You got Sheila right there. That's actually on the nose of the plane, and it tells you, you know, it's limited edition. Again, this is serial uh, serialized, but it's 000 of, of 800 just because uh, this is one of the review units, so they don't actually put a serial number on here. So you go Hawker Typhoon, Sheila, uh, all stainless steel, water resistant 50 meters, you know, all that stuff that you see on the case back. So there you go. Again, strap. I like the strap because it's got the stitching right here. I like that stitching. It looks kind of cool. And I think actually the other version, like the tan version, that's got like the tan indexes and the tan leather strap, I think that version is a little bit better looking and, you know, a little bit easier to read, a little bit more legible than this one. Even though I like this one and I don't like the green and I don't like really like the blue, but I like the tan version and I like this one. So I think they're good looking watches. Really, really good looking watches. Let me go ahead and uh, demonstrate the chronograph. So you can see right there, look at 12 o'clock. And then over here is your 24 hour dial at three o'clock. This is your minute counter over here at six o'clock and then you have your hour counter over here at nine o'clock so you don't have a you don't have a, a sweeping second hand like this one uh when it's actually counting down with the chronograph the running seconds is still going but this is actually the um 
the chronograph. So it, to use it as a chronograph would probably be really hard. I mean, it's not meant to be like a professional chronograph. It's just a little, you know, kind of like a little gimmick in a way. Um, but anyway, so then you go ahead and stop it. And then you reset it. And it goes back. There you go. So that's it, man. No day or date, which is a little bit disappointing. I at least want my watches to have a day and a date. This one does not. Um, but I mean, again, it's a good looking watch, you know, for, I think it's like 220 bucks. I mean, it'll last you a long time, you know, change out the battery every couple of years if you want to, uh, genuine leather right there. Let me go ahead and try it on and then I'll show you, uh, what the looms like. And I was kind of shocked. This actually fit me really nicely right out of the box. Again, you know, I don't, with these aviate watches, guys, I don't care about the history of the watches. I know they're in the aviation and they're all of these old World War II planes that they like to make watches after. I just, you know, I care more about the watch, the specs, the style, the function. I don't care about all this history and all the packaging. That's just me. You know, does the watch look good? Does it function well? Will it last a long time? Does it, you know, do what I need it to do? There you go. All right, let me go ahead and show you a loom shot. Actually, really comfortable. I'm really surprised how comfortable this leather strap is, though. Let's go ahead and kill the studio light, kill the monitor. There we go. Sorry, glowing a little bit. I was really pleasantly surprised with how you know bright this loom is. It isn't very long lasting, but it gets the job done. I'm assuming some sort of super luminova. I don't know what grade it is, uh, but I really like the little pips. Those little pips are like little ledges right there on the dial. And of course, you have the big Arabic numbers, all the other little markings there, the hands. Aviate is actually uh, loomed down there too. As you can see, guys, it's almost all you know already faded. But you know what do you expect? So there you go. So you know, pretty decent, pretty decent looming. Not the best, but it, it's okay. All right, let's go ahead and cut everything back on. Let's go ahead and finish up this review. Tell me what y'all think of these watches. Tell me what you think of Aviate watches in general. Again, I've always liked their designs. Some of them are a little bit hit and miss for me. Uh, they mostly make these quartz watches, these quartz chronographs. They have a few automatics in their lineup, but I'd say probably 95% of all AV watches are quartz uh, chronographs. You know, those, those Seiko movements inside. Um, and again, not my favorite brand, uh, but so far as like a micro, I don't know if they're really, even really a micro brand anymore. I don't think Aviate really qualifies as a micro brand. But anyway, uh, I think, you know, for a fashion watch, I like them a lot. Let's just say that. For a fashion watch, I would actually go out and buy one of these with my own money uh, if I needed, a, you know, a cool looking fashion watch. You know, something aviation inspired or whatever. So just like with Spinnaker. I mean, Spinnaker is another brand under the Dartmouth brands. Uh, that's the main company that owns all these. Spinnaker makes some decent dive watches, man. They really, really do. So check out Spinnaker if you like these Aviates, this quality of watch. Uh, check out Spinnaker. Spinnaker makes some really good dive watches, man. Really good. All right, guys, that's really about it for this one. What else do I want to tell you? Uh, if you want to check them out on Aviates website, they are $220. Uh, I don't know if the actual website is live right this second, but when it is live, I'll put the link to this watch. Uh, and then I think you also get a code. I'll have to look up the code. Um, for my stuff. If you want to get one of these watches, I think I have a coupon code out there somewhere. I'll have to look it up and see what it is. Uh, but then again, I'll put that in the description field too for you. So guys, that's really been about it. And as always, guys, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification bell. It really helps the algorithm. And I just really appreciate it. And thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next review. Take care. Bye -bye.